Hello everyone, this is Mundan Raghavan and today we are going to start with model. Yes, the first block of language chain will be the model. When I talk about model, there will be a lot of models. As we discussed in the previous video, you might have created the account in hugging phase. In hugging phase, just you click on the models, you will see a lot of models here. For example, let's say the previous one, or let's say whatever I used it very recently, consider B star chart beta version so this is one of the model basically in the model you will be seeing the model card it will give the example or let's say the details and how many parameters it has been trained and the repository and the sample code and so on on your right hand side you might see some ui to test your prompts for example if i click compute again it will give the output for me So like that, you will be having the different options here. And main thing is here, if you click on deploy, you will be having the reference API. So this will give directly the code for you. But actually here, you are not having the model. You are making only the API call to the model. In case of if you are creating some applications, you might use that. But in order to learn all the concepts in Langchain, we need to have the model in our local system. It might be the customization or it can be checking with the different models. We need to have that. But let's say if you want to execute only for sample purpose, you can use the inference APIs. You can directly use and copy the code and you can get the output. However, we need to see if you download this entire model into your local, how much memory it would take. Here you can see when you go to the files and versions, you will see wherever you see the more memory like LFS or tensors or paracut, those kind of files will be the model. Here you can see if you just add everything, it might be going beyond some limits, maybe 60 GP, 70 GP, which may not be good for our local system, which means all the models cannot be downloaded local. So it will be a challenging for us. But today, recently I got a wonderful model, which is a free version, which is also can be used in your local machine. You don't need the GPU to train again if you have the custom data. Even you don't need internet after downloading, which is called GPT for all. Now here you can see the documentation under the GPT for, for all dot io index.html. I will be sharing the link in the comments. Here even you can have the UI version based on your OS. You can download the desktop chart client. For example, I have already downloaded. Here you can see this is the UI something looks like. You will be having the chart window and even you can ask some questions. Let me change the theme. Okay, looks good. So now here you can see even I ask some sample question, it is giving the answer. But you might think like even the OpenAI chart GPT is free version, you can check in online. But the best part is you cannot download the OpenAI code. Here you can download the model itself. How to download that? Whenever you download this, first of all, the client or desktop client, you will not have any model by default. What you need to do is like you need to go, you can click on the downloads. Here you can see there are a lot of models available based on your CPU systems. And it will suggest which system or which model can be downloaded based on your configuration and hardware. For example, I have downloaded the minimum version. Let's show me that one. Click show more models. Here you can see. So here it needs only download size will be only 1.8 GP and RAM required is only 4 GP. For training purpose, for making some customization, we may need only this one. And it will be very easy to download because you don't need to work for the GPU and other memory capacities. After downloading, it will be saved in the folder where you can see C users under GPT for for all. Now after downloading, now you can select from the top, whichever the models are available, you can select it. Since we have only one, we can have it. And another best part would be, even you can save your local charts Okay. And even you can connect to some different databases, local docs, collections. There are a lot of options we are going to explore in the coming sessions. Now coming to the another part. So in Python, how do you make it? 
for example let's go to the sample code here here you can see from langchain in the previous video we have installed the langchain in the langchain there is a module called llms so large language models in that you will be importing the gpt4 for all then obviously we have downloaded the entire model the previous path gpt for all and this is the arca mini and it is a bin file from that you are just getting the model and obviously the model and you are sending the prompt it will be giving the response the sample response will be like once upon a time i just given and the output would be 10 years ago i was working on a project some auto filling or some generative test so this is a sample code just to start with the gpt for all however in order to work with gpt for all you need to install one more module which is pip install gpt for all if you go to the interpreter settings and you can see already gpt for all, for all this can be easily installed just click on the plus symbol again gpt for all so you can see this and you can just install so this is a simple way today we have just seen where to find the model in the hugging phase and what are the limitations because of our system capacity may be the gpu and internet and memory capacity now we found one more model called gpt4 all even it has the desktop client version you can see and basically we have chosen mini arca it needs only 1.8 gp of memory and ram also only 4 gp is required so after doing all the experiments in the ui we have just see some examples in the code from the lang chain and we have downloaded the model and we mentioned the same path here in order to work with gpt4 all we have just installed one more time pip install gpt4 all so after doing all these things we are able to see the output so this is a very basic introduction about the model and we have installed the gpt4 all so thank you everyone and always be a rainbow in others cloud